Hi everyone. I may have kind of surprised some of you today. I am a day early. So I will give a little bit longer than normal to let people come on because of the fact that you may not be expecting me on here because I'm a day before my usual live. Hey, Laura, Megan. Um, oh, some of you have found me. We're a day early. Anyone who usually comes for our lives, we're generally on a Thursday. But today we're going on Wednesday because tomorrow we're going to be heading off to Germany, myself and Laura. So if you're local to Cork, uh, do be warned that the shop is going to be closed. I will still have some emails obviously coming in for myself, but Laura will not have access to her emails. So urgent ones I can still get to, but anyone else, it'll be Monday we get back. Hi everyone, thank you for finding me on Wednesday a day early. Um, we are very much looking forward to our trip over to Cologne in Germany. We're going for just three days because there's a very large um, craft fair. Sorry, craft fair isn't the right word, it's trade show, um, but it's specifically for the craft, the yarn craft, the handicraft industry. So there's going to be a lot of very, very interesting things to see. What we're looking forward to getting is picking up yarns and getting them into our hands. Because some of our suppliers, there's particular yarns and it's very hard to get a feel for what the true colors are, what it feels like in your hands and whether it's something you want to actually knit with. So being able to go over and pick everything up in person will be very, very helpful. Um, also, in addition to this, we get a chance of looking for new yarns that we have not come across before because there will probably be quite a few companies that we won't have seen before. Anyone out there who is in the knitting trade that's going to be there and wants to meet up, give me a shout. Send me on a DM here. I'd love to meet up if you want to chat knitting or anything in particular. Um, it would be a lot of fun to meet up. So just pop on a message up here. We will be here there from well, Thursday evening until a Saturday afternoon. Um, and also, if you want to see some of our yarns, that specifically the newer sport and the newer worsted, Fibre Spade stand is going to have all of the different colors on display and I'm bringing a couple of samples over that we can put up there as well. There's, there's also a couple of other little bits that I'm looking for. There's a few additions for the upcoming seasons club, specifically the summer club. And the items we want to put in, I'm not going to give away too much, are quite small and we can't, and so they don't do samples. So we're hoping that we'll be able to find a few suppliers for some of those bits when we're over there as well. So we have a, a long shopping list that we're going to the show with. If there's anything in particular that you would like us to keep an eye out for, that you would like to see in Stone and Stitches, or maybe you'd even like to see it in a future club, just let us know because that's that's where the ideas come from. Sometimes it might be things that it hasn't occurred to us to look for before. Um, so it's nice to, yeah, to kind of have ideas. The other thing we're doing today is we've got a pattern launch, or I suppose a relaunch of, of sorts. And it's inspired by the changing season and us kind of really, really hoping that the weather is going to keep improving. It looked a couple of weeks ago like we were going to have spring and we were like, yes, we can get into warmer weather knits and sit outside a little bit. And then it decided to kind of take a swing back and back step into winter again. But we're kind of, we reckon that it's going to come sometime. We're going to have a summer at some point. So we're going to plan for it. And the idea being that we want to go ahead and get started with our summer and our spring knitting now. So when the weather actually does start getting nicer, we'll be totally ready. We'll have the wardrobe ready. We'll be ready to go. And so for that reason, we've held on, on since last year for two of our summer patterns um, because they just felt they were not in the right season. So the two things we've re-released are the Hakone scarf, which is from the summer, um, which is from the summer knit along last our sum, summer season, I beg your pardon, last year. And so it's a scarf that it starts with either a ruffle or a just a plain garter stitch edge. It's a very, very good travel lace knitting project. So if you're an experienced lace knitter, you'll find this very straightforward to actually knit. You'll kind of, it'll 
sink into your head very quickly and I found that I was able to use this as a travel project once I got past one or two um, iterations but it's got it's made with a combination of yarns that I'll show you in a minute here there's two combination there's two yarns in here there's Asa and there's Kinu and they're mainly silk one of them a very here I'll hold this up here Here's the Kinu, which is, um, it's 100% silk and it is a very, it's a very rustic, slubby silk. And that's combined with, let me find it here, I dropped the second one. This is Asa. It is finer and I don't know if you can see it here. It's got a slight little bit of shine in it, but not too much, just a small amount. And this one is also primarily silk, but there's a little, sorry, it's primarily cotton. And let me see here, it's linen and cotton and the two of those together create this really really nice draped soft crisp feel that is perfect for warmer weather so these were the combinations of the yarns for the club last year two of them even though these ones you can see they're slightly different colors when you knit them together it creates it's dominated by this which is a little thicker with just a little bit of a tweedy effect created by that going through really pretty and I just makes it a very nice fabric and pleasant to knit with so the two of these you can either knit them off like this and in fact somebody was saying that they used kind of um, toilet roll holders to put them on what I ended up doing is actually taking one strand from each of these winding them together into a single larger cake and then working straight from that worked really well um, but those ones are those kits sh just went up a very short while ago on the website so we've got a kit together with enough of the two combined to knit either this one which is the Hikone scarf or this one is the Prunus square um, so you can see this is a slightly different color combination I'm going to hold it up in front of me this is a very very good one to learn a couple of techniques the main one being the pinhole cast on it starts in the very middle here let me find the center starts in the middle with a pinhole cast on if you haven't done it before it's really interesting you just it's like you crochet around the center loop and then you draw it together to create this tiny little cast on then you can work out either using magic loop or double pointed needles till you get to a larger circle and then this is a really really simple lace pattern because you've just got you can see every one of those fours has got an increase where you're increasing every single round so it creates a spiral and then the ones in between are just also very easy to memorize and then you finish off with this has got a pico cast off all the way around the edge so this one what we actually did the kit will come with this little button little button that comes with it a matching color coordinated button and because of all of the yarn overs this makes a great neckerchief where you can actually just tie it across back like this just buttoning it in the back to whatever size you want to make of it you can obviously do the same thing if you want it as a headscarf um, I had also you might see on the website because of the nice flat pattern on it if you've got those little small bistro tables it actually makes a glorious tablecloth really really pretty tablecloth so it's pretty multifunctional. You can do a lot with it. You can even, if you wanted to get a second kit, just keep working it wider and make a very large square where you could make a nice blanket for perhaps actually something like a christening blanket or a really interesting baby blanket. And there's a couple of questions I think I might have missed over here that popped up. Oh, you were saying you love the fiber space vivacious. I do as well. We have some of the shop. It's lovely yarn. Uh, Liz it sounds amazing you're looking forward to seeing what I bring back so am I I can't I actually cannot wait to see what we we can get hold of um, when we're over there it is um, it's been a couple of years we was back in 2017 or 2018 I went um, when Nua launched I went to the to this particular show before and I haven't been since um, but when I go to shows like that, I like to have a particular purpose. And this time, I think there is enough different reasons to be there that it should be very interesting, I think. Um, so with these two, this, so this one is the Pruna Square and the Hakone pattern, um, scarf. Both of those, you can either get the pattern by itself, you can get the yarn kit, 
but you don't get the pattern with the yarn kit you have to add it on and there's also the option of a workshop so if you would rather have the whole thing shown to you step by step if you're newer to these techniques then the workshop is the way to go because that will come with the pattern as um as before and the actual the yarn kit when we bundle it together it's going to be five percent off the yarn a bag and in the case of this one we've got a little button added in as well so there's yeah this is I, I wish I could actually let you feel what this feels like it's a it's just it's a very nice kind of a crispy feel to it in a good way and it's very pleasant to wear um, it makes a very nice a very very nice fabric we've also had a couple of more additions that came into the shop in the last week and uh, that if you're on the newsletter you might have spotted these already these are just small little extras little bitty pieces these are kind of cute. These are little tulip stitch stoppers. So you can use these for a couple of different things. They, are, If you have got your knitting needles, you put them down and you want to make sure none of your stitches slip off, you can pop these on the end. Or something that, because I don't use them very often, you can also pop these on the back of double pointed needles and it will stop your stitches slipping off and it'll just convert them to very short straight needles. I haven't done that before because I don't have a lot of double pointed needles, but I think that's actually a really nice, interesting extra use for them. We didn't get a lot of these because they're just the very, I don't, I should probably pull them out actually. They're small and delicate, um, but if you're using the higher high in needles, it's the same kind of thing. They're again, little stoppers, but these ones are really pretty beads and they come where you can twist them on. Where you actually can just twist them onto the front again so that your stitches won't slip off same kind of idea as the the tulip ones but it's just very specific to the higher higher needles so it would allow you to actually take those needle tips off screw one of those on instead so that if you needed your needles for something else and you want to make sure that your stitches don't slip off the cords you can pop one of these on and the final thing we have here is just this very small little gauge square so again the middle part here this is done in centimeters but it's going to be the same if it's in inches because you've got five inches across here which would be the same as two i'm sorry not five inches five centimeters same as two inches across the middle and then outside from side to side is 10 centimeters or four inches so this is the benefit of this is it's very light it's clear and you being able to put this down makes it very quick to be able to count off your stitches as you're going across and I think it's a bit faster than the ruler you're not kind of trying you won't accidentally end up adding one extra inch in or one less inch in when you're measuring across which I may or may not sometimes have been guilty of <laughs> this is a bit foolproof so you're not going to make any mistakes when you're counting your gauge as you're going across um, but that's most of what we've kind of got coming out this week and that you can just find up in the shop. I think it was about half an hour ago it went live, so you should be able to see it. Next week we will be back and I might have a few little hints about um, our knit along that'll be coming up, our spring knit along. Now that you've all had time to recover from the mystery shawl knit along and finish off your project, um, we can start thinking about our spring cardigan knit along won't be going on sale yet that'll be kind of it'll be mid-april it will go on sale but i've just finished it off it's heading its way to the tech editor I've just got a few things i need to tweak but that one will be a new sport um, as i've been doing it for the last few years which makes a really nice lightweight spring cardigan so it's pretty good for a multi-purpose wearing um, if there's anything else that you would like answered next week in your in the questions here pop them up in the comments underneath and i will make sure we get around to answering them next week um, or if there's yeah anything else you want to know about just pop it in there and thank you for joining me we will be back next thursday next week we are just wednesday today because of having to go away tomorrow so there's no live tomorrow just on today instead so i will see you next thursday um, for our live at 2.30. Thank you for joining me. Bye everyone.